we have England Barbarians. Uh, and this kind of storyline that have been coming from us, we have load of Sarries in, yes, in for the Barbarians, yeah. which is, is kind of fun. Uh, a, g- a good chance for some of them to say goodbye to the, to the game in some regards. I think uh, some of them are retiring as well. But uh, yeah, it's always a fun game. The Quilter Cup, as I just learned it is called. I didn't know it was called I that. vaguely knew that. Um, you, yeah. you see that. You see that pop up every year. Right, all these sides get... Tro- like, I, I feel bitter as an Irish fan. Because yeah. every, every other side seems to get a trophy for every game they win. Yeah. They have a trophy cabinet filled. It's like, oh yeah, this, this trophy is the time we beat Wales in yeah. 2016. Oh, that's our Fiji trophy. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> we like, get what? a trophy every time we beat Fiji. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, England, they like to pack their trophy cabinet full of one-off wins yes so and good luck to them fair enough yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, it's going to take place on sunday i believe sunday yes yeah. uh, i'm just gonna find it here uh yeah sunday uh october 25th 2 p.m kickoff in twickenham yeah. um, which is local time as well and uh, the rest still to be confirmed and uh yeah it's definitely an occasion where you would really like to have fans there really a barbarians game in twickenham it's a shame that yeah, the fans that's what aren't the fa- it's, 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 it's the what, barbarians what, are there to entertain the, the masses. It's true, so, uh, yeah. I'm sure that. you never know. You might see them kicking to, kicking threes without them. Well, yeah, I think I de- you, de- you definitely see. You might see England do that. You yeah. know, where 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 fans would be encouraging England to do other things. They might just be like, let's bully these boys in yeah. front or, or something along those lines. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you you might not get as free flowing a game without the spectators there. But hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you do. Well. You get yeah, some yeah. barbarians rugby. It's been a while. Yeah. We haven't seen them in a wee while. And uh, Vern Cotter who has just re- been appointed the Fiji coach post-World Cup, but uh, himself and Glenn Jackson, former referee who has joined him in yeah, Fiji as a co- in a coaching capacity, uh, they're going to coach this team as well, which uh, is exciting. They have, uh, Certainly Vern Cotter has a reputation for playing some very pretty, but also very good rugby fundamentally. I'm excited to see what he does for Fiji. Um, yeah. And in the meantime, I, we have, he has some... I can tell you, he's, 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 he's brought in some uh, Fijians, some local-based Fijians, so there's Excellent. no clashing with club lads as well. A bunch of names I'm not uh, that familiar with, but by all accounts, even you know the, the Barbarians' Twitter account is hyping them, saying they look great. Excellent. So Excellent. it's always like it's always great well, to see. Fiji and Barbarians are kind of a match made in hell. Yeah, a Barbarians well. game Fiji. without Fijians just feels wrong it in does. this day and yeah, age. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, Fijian and Saris, a, a Sari Fijian hybrid kind of team is with with a Ferg McFadden from our own selfish point to of our hearts. Fergus McFadden recently retired, absolute Leinster legend, and played a, a fair bit of good uh, good rugby in the green jersey too. But by all accounts, a great guy and thing. He's retired this year. Great to see him get the nod from yeah. Vern Cotter to come and join the Barbarians. That's a little feather in his cap yeah. that he definitely deserves. Yeah, um, Chris, Chris Robshaw likewise. I believe yeah. Robshaw's going off to the MLO. He is. But, I, think, um, yeah, I think he's playing. For the San Diego uh, Legion. He signed, Legion, he signed yeah. for them, and um, so that. But he and, and obviously a Harlequins club legend as well. And over a hundred, te- over three hundred tests I think, or yes, play- yeah. games for Harlequins he played, uh, and obviously what a stalwart. So yeah, there, there's definitely some good good guys in here. As far as Saris, we have uh, some serious names in there. You have Swinson. You have. Uh, you or who's there? who else there from Saris? Don Morris, Don um, Morris, yes. Man who's right. won a polo, Richard Wigglesworth. Yes. Uh, Alex Lewington, who I like a lot. Yes, uh, I do too. Jackson wing. Ray, yeah. uh, the back row forward as well. So a decent amount of heft as well, but definitely potential to play some nice attacking rugby here. Um, yeah, Lew- Swinson, Lewington Swinson being the, left uh, out of the Scotland squad is a curiosity. Um, after the amount of locks, man, the amount yeah, of locks they got over there. It's true, um, they are, they are swimming in them, but he'll definitely feel like he has a point to prove and could play himself into the squad if he has a decent enough showing. Um, but yeah, some stuff to play for uh, from a barbarian's point of view. You definitely want. Yeah, it. yeah. Always fun. Look to into those young Fijians and looking to um, some Lewington of those, and perhaps for, well, for a bit of, of flair. Some of those bitter Saris might be might be fancying it against uh, against England for sure. Yeah, no question. Mm-hmm. But it's, yeah, it's a, it's an exciting game from the barbarians' point of view, and their their object is to come out and try and put some stuff together and attack and and be creative. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's it's always a show when they play. So it is. very much I'm looking forward to, to see to what seeing ver- them. what variation. They will do on the goofy tap and go penalty that the barbarians often bring to Twickenham. The wall, the wall, or some such thing. Always good fun. The wall is 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 dust, man. <laughs> It'll never work again. No, I know, I know. But it's still nice to see barbarians try it. Yes, because even yeah. in even in its failure, it can be an amusing picture. It, of it can pitch. for sure, for sure. <laughs> but then from from England's point of view. Um, we have Eddie Jones. He's obviously playing without uh, players, as we've said, for all th- all squads. Players from Wasps and Exeter still unavailable, as that final still to be contested. Um, but a few th- a few points of contention here. Ben Spencer, who had moved from Saris to Bath and is 
arguably the best scrum half in England. I was going to say arguably the best scrum half in Europe. Apart mm-hmm. from Dupont, he probably is yeah, the best yes. squad in Europe. Best scrum half in Europe. Um, Very left out decision. of the squad yeah. seems to be another guy that Eddie Jones just doesn't doesn't rate yeah. uh, for some reason. So he is left out of the squad in favor of a few others. Uh, I'm Hines just, and Hines. Um, Ben Youngs yeah. and a new lad of some kind. <laughs> yeah, uh, curious decision Mitchell making. In that one, Mitchell, that's right, Northampton yeah. lad. Um, which, as you put, correctly pointed out, weren't Northampton absolutely dangerous with Comus Reinach, and then they lost Comus Reinach at nine, and have looked abject ever since. That was my that was my superficial understanding of what had happened in Northampton. Yes. Oh, they've Comus Reinach. They're pretty good. Oh, he's gone. Oh, they're terrible. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of true. So it, it seems seems a bit bizarre, but uh, Ben Spencer not in England, even though. I kind of have him as front runner for the Lions number nine jersey. That would be my thought. But, yeah, uh, well, we shall see. Obviously, if he can't get into Eddie Jones' good books, he's going to have a hard time of it finding his way into a Lions tour. But mm. uh, there is a lot of talent in this squad as well. You know, they've got uh, the yeah. likes of uh, Itoji, Billy Vanapola, Farrell, Johnny May, all uh, available for selection this week. Yes. And then you've got some exciting prospects who are going to make a name for themselves. In particular, Alex Dombrandt. He's been earning that call up for the last couple of years, really, hasn't he? He's been oh, he's sensational. Great. Yeah, yeah. I, I love his running game. He's yeah. big. He's dynamic. He, he gets over the game line, but he has a great pair of hands on him. Good, uh, good reader of the game. Very, very exciting player. And I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what step up he can make uh, in the in the test shirt. Yeah, certainly um, a barbarian style. Like this is a good yeah. game for him. Get Dar- Don Brand out there against the barbarians. Yeah, he loves I, that I, running. I think it could be massive. Yeah, yeah. I, I also think it's important for him. Like he's a guy who's going to be under under more pressure than most because of just the sheer depth that we're talking about in this back row. Yeah, um, for sure. Well, with Billy V, the occupant of your of the jersey you're going yeah, for, it's, it's very tough coming in behind you, breathing fire down your neck, uh, like Willis and like um, Ben Earl and like Nathan Hughes, and Hughes and um, all of these great. Yeah, even Simmons, Simmons, like yeah, yeah. it's crazy. It's yeah. uh, there's the, the the absolute the depth of talent there is is crazy. But I, uh, Don Brandt is very exciting, and he's going to be determined. I think to go out there and give Eddie Jones some some food for thought, yes. something to think about apart from the Texans one and five record. <laughs> um, yes, he has cursed the Texans with that hat. Every, Texans, every time yeah. he turns up, he's wearing his face mask and Houston Texans hat, hat and the Texans keep losing. <laughs> um, I'm also really excited uh, about Ollie Thorley. I mean, it's, yeah. it, he's a guy who's been sort of, I think he played in this fixture last year, but mm-hmm. he hasn't really had much of an opportunity in the England shirt and, you know, he, he burst onto the scene with some explosive plays in, in Gloucester and it's taken him just a little while uh, to make the step to the next level but it's a step I'm absolutely oh, certain he can make yeah, just with, so his, with his yeah with his body shape and his frame and his speed yeah. uh, I just think it's only a matter of time before he and can his make courage. the step up. He's, he, yeah, he's, yeah. he's very not just brave for the, like he's keen for the contact there yeah. are some kind of quick speedster wingers who really find, find it kind of a bit like they can be a bit soft at test level can be found yeah. out I feel like Ollie Thorley could definitely <coughs> make that step up, and yeah. again, another man I would be chucking out. I'd be chucking a lot of Gloucester men out there to face the Babas, to be honest, because I think it would be a, yeah. just a fun game for all inter- all concerned. If you want to throw the ball around, like for sure. That. <laughs> um, yeah. Then as far as as far as predictions for the game, I uh, again just the lack of fans is is a, the main concern, the main gripe about what is normally a massive festival of rugby yeah. and a great occasion in Twickenham. It'll be it'll be a bit disappointing to see the empty seats mm. in Twickenham. But I'm still hopeful hopeful that the spirit of Barbarians rugby will ring true, that Vern Cotter will encourage it in them, encourage that these them new to, Fijians will get, be world class. Get, yes, get all those new Fijians on the ball, linking with Sarri's men, get Wigglesworth on the pitch pulling strings. Hattrick for Ferg McFadden. Hattrick for Ferg McFadden. <laughs> and, and it, yeah, that's I'm gonna yeah, gonna predict two no, a brace for Ferg McFadden and an assist and the the Barbas to win by ten. That yeah, I think it's another forty all draw. Yeah. Yeah, well, that could be as good. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think I think England by uh, yeah, I think you're probably right. something similar. Yeah. Ten points, fifteen points. Yeah, probably, it's not that important. Probably right. It's not that it's, the result isn't important. It's, it would it's be more about like we're going to get an rugby. insight into what this what Vern Cotter's Fiji perhaps a little bit will look like. We're going to get to see some new Fijian talent. We're going to get an insight into into whether the the likes of. Um, Don Branton and Thorley can make the step up to test level as well so it's fun in that in that regard and it's just going to be a spectacle so yes. uh, yeah, it's so not, not, not really about it. the result it's just about the participation this <laughs> participation trophies for all yeah the everybody <laughs> wins 40 all draw I'm yeah. changing my prediction again yeah. okay. 40 all draw <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to the Overlap Rugby podcast. If you enjoyed what you hear, 
Please like and subscribe, and uh, leave a comment down below as well. We enjoy hearing your opinions too. Thank you.